right, Chief? That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilising or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. OK, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Tower of London? Getting inside will be a challenge, I imagine. I'd like to help, fam, but I just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caber, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption. I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. Hello. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? Trust me, we wouldn't be doing this if there was an alternative. But we have to find out what new Project Cass is unveiling at this meeting. There's no other choice. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Interesting. Send me the personal information. I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. We're aware of an Albion employee who might be approachable. Well, I'm sure recruiting someone from Albion will prove to be a unique challenge. They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity's much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking? Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. If you want to make a difference, you should work with us. So, you are with DATSEC, yes? And you have done nothing about the clouds of panic gas attacking the people of London. What? The chemicals, fear toxins, the drones spray them into the atmosphere. It's citywide, keeps everyone complicit. All of the authorities are involved. Uh... Look, I've identified who is behind this. Also their resources and where they are operating from. So it's simple. You want to prove you're not part of the fear gas agenda? Take care of this. Then maybe I'll trust you. I'll get it done. Excuse me. Jesus, Mary and Joseph Bagley, did that even have a shred of credibility to it? Oh no, she's off her fucking lid for sure. Allegedly, her shadowy cabal is headquartered at a nearby Albion field office. Might be worth investigating regardless. Might as well. At the very least, we might learn something about Albion.
What do we have, Bagley? Some Albion guards posted here are selling pallets of high-tech weaponry to Clan Kelly at a healthy markup. I mean, sure, it's corrupt, but it hardly rises to the level of evil scheme. Nothing a little destruction can't fix. There are the weapons. stamped out that conspiracy so thoroughly it never existed in the first place. Shall we inform our friend? care of everyone on your list. Now, I don't want to argue with you, but there was no conspiracy. Just a bunch of evil bastards trying to line their pockets. What? Oh no. Did you get those with the toxin too? I told you it's very dangerous. Shit. Well, you still took out their resources. Good enough. You proved yourself trustworthy. For now. DeadSec is looking to fill the ranks. You should join. Yes. I think we'll make a formidable team. Our resistance is only as good as the people in it. We're happy to have you. Yes, I'm ready to go bastard hunting with you lot. Good to hear. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready.
If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You seem to know a lot more about him than the average person. Yeah, I was Albion too, if you hadn't twigged to that. Me and Cass were close ones. Looked up to him. <laughs> He was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Seriously? Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have morals. This door clearly requires a security pass. Great. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. Director Cass, I've... I'm not questioning his bloody director. I'm wondering why we're not being sent out against those fucking thugs. Maybe because he has a plan. A vision, mate. That guy has ideas running around his head you wouldn't dream up. If he wants us laying off Clan Kelly, you can bet he has a reason for it. I know, I know. It's just frustrating. See those punks? I've not been able to kick fuck out of these assholes. You've been up there, Liam? There are some parts of this city that need a woodwork and warba with some heavy boots. You understand? Yeah, I know. But there's always an element. Sure, I look like we're taking care of them. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. Let's see it. Internal Psych Assessment AS001 Subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. 
Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania, edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. So, looks like Cass has some issues to work through. It would have been nice if he had done that before he had to secure London. Yeah, well... Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. How's it going? Yes. Seen a bit tense. Oh. It's a bit yes. We lost them. Radio Good. HQ. Let them Don't know. have to shoot it. This father and son was so good. Now that the plebs just spout about the worst, it's the worst that. How are you doing on with those metrics? The deadline is coming up quickly. It wouldn't do to miss it. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you, I promise you, with the launch of Project Temis, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you'd called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one. Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the Defence Minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention. A building 
Mike's security sweep has been initiated due to dog breach. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. I need an exit, Bagley. The catacombs, fam. been introduced. Made you an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very uh, persuasive. He's certainly efficient and cold-blooded, and fully committed to rolling out this Tamis project. Not good news. I do not like this at all. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Excuse me. Just relax for a moment. Keep it up. 